Many people start their day with different things on their mind, like what to wear, check their social media, work, and how much money they can make. Not putting God first and suddenly, in a moment, they will die and the people will be troubled at midnight and pass away and the mighty will be taken away without a hand. This is why you need the midnight prayer. Hello Trinidad and Tobago, may the spirit of God bless you. Now is midnight in three minutes. I already have my glass of water. I would like you to prepare your glass of water and watch this powerful testimony right after I will come back here praying for you. My name is Rachel Johnson. I'm 52 years old. Um, and I have spent uh, two years in prison. After my prison stay, being released, I have suffered with depression, panic attacks, anxiety. Uh, during my stay in prison, that's when I discovered that I, that I suffered with all those things. My family couldn't relate. They would try to be there, but no one still could. It was like I was screaming upon deaf ears, you know, because everybody would wave you off and be like, oh, you okay, you're home now, leave that behind you, you know, but I couldn't because I had been literally to the pits of hell and no one could understand because no one had, had been to, to prison. The panic attacks, it would feel like I would be suffocated. I would just be sitting there and it would feel like, <laughs> like I couldn't breathe. And uh, I knew then that something was wrong. It would be like voices. So, um, and I didn't know if that was Satan. You know, is this the trick of the enemy that I'm hearing? Like, what is this? You know, telling me you're not going to be okay just because you're out. Um, God doesn't love you. You are by yourself. You're alone. But I knew better because God is the one that got me through. I was flicking through the channels and I came across Universal. And I was, and right before then, I was praying and asking God, um, what is it that you want me to do? What is it that I'm hearing? I want to make sure that it's you, Lord, and I hear your voice, and it's not the trick of the enemy. And when I got to the channel, I heard, stop it right here. And, um, and I stopped it right there. And I listened to the sermon. I was in need of deliverance because I, had, um, I needed to be delivered from unforgiveness. I didn't know who I needed to forgive, what I was holding on to. When I came to Universal Church, nobody judged me. And that was the main thing that stood out to me because I had been judged previously. The pastor here at Universal Church um, was, was very uh, strong in faith in helping me to build up my faith. The pastor invited me, told me, you know, the schedule of the church. And, and what really stood out to me was that I could come every day. And that's what I really liked because people need Jesus every day. And, and you know, need somewhere to go and worship and fellowship. I start frequenting, coming every day, coming all the time. And um, I, start, I spoke with pastor and explained my life, my situation, some of my testimony, uh, what I needed was deliverance from unforgiveness because I was holding on to that um, unbeknownst to me. I, I didn't even know that's what it was. Once I released the unforgiveness and was delivered from the unforgiveness, the depression, the panic attacks, the anxiety, all of those things began to leave me. I noticed how um, I just started being able to um, communicate better, better with people that I wouldn't communicate with. Um, the prosperity in my life, I started prospering. There's the pandemic. There are blessings within the pandemic. And I was showing my account to show people um, the monies that I was receiving from unemployment. There was um, like really un un an unusual large amount, you know, uh, that I know came from God. Miss Rachel today is a God-fearing woman, a woman of God that's, uh, that has a clean heart and a clean mind and have been set free from all things that's not like God. No more anxiety, no more depression, no more panic attacks, no more mental challenges from behind being incarcerated. All of those things are gone.
Prayer is our communication with God. You watched the testimonies. You heard the word. But now, please close your eyes and prepare for the moment of prayer. In life we have so much pain. My Lord and my Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, Lord, from the room of the Holy Spirit, I ask you for you to visit this person, whatever they are. Those who are depressed, those who are feeling down. My Lord, those who are, they reach to the point to say, I cannot take it anymore. They reach to the bottom of the pit because so many problems, so many things taking place in their lives. It seems like that the whole world have been falling upon the head of this person. It's one problem after the other. And all those problems, especially financial problems, cause this person to feel stress, cause this person to feel depressed, cause this person to have this panic attack, this anxiety. Please, Lord, I ask you for you to bless this water. Ah, my God, consecrate this water with your power for when this person drink from it. Let your spirit, Lord, to set this person free from all kind of problems. I also pray on behalf of Trinidad and Tobago, my Father, Bring a total transformation. Bring peace to our country. Ah, my God, I ask you, give you wisdom, knowledge for the authority of this nation. Each one of them who has the power. My God, give knowledge. Bless them, bless our young people. My God, I ask you again for you to consecrate and bless this water with your power. For when this person, they drink of it, let this person to receive life. In the name of Jesus Christ, and those who believe says, Amen. Do you believe, friend? You may drink now from your water, and be blessed. Amen. There we are, friend. Receive life. Receive the Spirit of God inside of you. And be sure of that. God he is with you. But you also need to be with him. If somebody told you that you are going to die, listen, you are not going to die. No, not so soon. Of course, one day you will die, but not now. Because now you receive life. Now you receive strength. And I would like to see you today here in our national headquarters. At 7 o'clock in the morning, we are going to have the service of impossible, things which are impossible for men, are possible for God, it's possible for you to overcome this cancer, it's possible for you to overcome this HIV, all that you have to do is to be together with us today, here at 7 o'clock in our national headquarters, we are going to have half past 8, the seminar of the book of the Holy Spirit, and at 10 o'clock, it's going to be our second service. Then 12 p.m. is going to be our third service. And also at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Throughout of the day, the doors of the Universal Church here in Trinidad and Tobago, it will be open for you. If you want to come speak to us, speak to a pastor, you don't need to pay anything. As a matter of fact, this number that you can see, if you want to WhatsApp us, if you want to text us, do it now. Because right now, after midnight, we are able to help you. Okay? May God bless you. Have yourself a wonderful night. See you here at the Universal Church. Trying to get away from you. Why did you kill my baby? You took, you took my kid's dad from him. The pain unregulated, and the only one dying. Life down here. Thank <laughs> you.
another mother who's lost her child to an act of violence. Prevent yourself and anyone else in your family 